I've always, since seventh grade, been interested in earth sciences and particularly earth history. It goes all the way back to a field trip I took when I was in middle school and we went out to Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, to the Grand Canyon, places like that, and I realized that the, the record of earth history is written in these layers of rock and those are kind of the pages of the, of the book. Subphylum Sceneramia. I teach paleontology and geology classes and that's what my research is in. So that means I study fossils and rocks and in particular I study how mammal evolution was affected by things like climate change and plate tectonic change. We go on field trips in classes and so during those field trips they get to see some of the things that we do on our research uh, when we're in the field and then also I get to kind of recruit some students to help me with my research and often they will go with me on field trips and so forth. I've spent a long time working out in the Rocky Mountain region in Wyoming but also Egypt and in Pakistan and in Kazakhstan and, and most recently down in South America I've been working in Argentina. It looks like that would be a section down here. A lot of the examples I can use in class are examples from my own research program and I can actually bring in specimens that we discovered ourselves during our field trips. The eyes, yeah. Yeah, yeah I just say that. In any classroom setting it helps to bring your own passion and your own research into the classroom I think no matter what subject you teach and uh, so I think they always respond well. But well, what are those called? Mm. That's a good question. Of course it's always feels good to be recognized by your peers and your students when uh, you're doing something you love and they recognize that you're, you're doing it well so uh, it really provides a lot of motivation to keep, keep trying to work hard.